I get it, man. Days like today suck, and I feel like I just made a video like this not too long ago, but these things come and go, and when they come, they come hard, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> that sounds a little funny, but look, I don't feel like giving up, man, but everything does feel like it's piling up on me. Everything does feel like it won't be achievable. Everything does feel... It just everything just feels like I'm stuck and there's no way out but the thing is and the thing I remind myself is and even I want you to think about this man think about the times where you felt like this before and you were actually able to get out of it and if you've never experienced that before let me tell you that when you do the first time it will change your perspective man because I was I was able to do it a couple times and that's what keeps me grounded in the sense that it really helps me understand that this shit is possible. And I know what I'm going through right now, I will get through. Don't make it easy, but I know it's possible. At moments like this, when you really feel like giving up, is when you gotta really lock in the hardest and really Remind yourself of the goals you have. Remind yourself of the people, the reasons, and all those different things that you're doing this for. And to remind yourself of the feeling that you feel right now. And picture yourself in a situation or a time where you didn't feel like that. Or if you've always felt like this, and picture yourself free of this feeling in your imagination and hold on to that remember that and keep going man and trust me there's gonna be all these outside factors on top of the things that you are not accomplishing or the things that are taking a little longer than you expected all these different things are gonna make you feel some type of way man and it's gonna stack up especially if you're not on top of your things man like, I haven't been how fully, and I've talked about this in some previous videos. And I feel like it's all stacking on me now, today. <sighs> and even right now, like, I wasn't even too sure what I was going to film because my mind was all cluttered with all these different things, all these different emotions, and all these different situations, right? But... It almost does feel like I want to give up. And that feeling is weird because I haven't felt it in a while. And I don't like that I'm feeling it. But look, it's a natural feeling. It's happened to me before. And when it happened to me before, I was in a much worse situation, much worse spot in my life. Mentally, physically, and financially, everything. But that's when I really told myself and really really just believed in myself also that this was not the life I wanted this was not the situation that will keep me trapped and keep me from accomplishing and becoming the person I want to be and I really believe that man and you have to too and once you believe that and once you have that set in your mind you gotta start taking that action. Slowly, slow boogie's better than no boogie. Remember that. If you have to start slow, it's okay. Don't feel like you're gonna be done with this whole journey in a week's time, a year, a couple years. It takes way longer than that. And then some of y'all might be thinking like, damn, a couple years to get where I want to, man. That's so discouraging, that's so this and that's so this. It shouldn't be, man, because the journey is part of the growth. And the thing is, when you really start locking in and really, like, working on yourself and changing all these things around you and about yourself, the victories will come as you're progressing. So think about it. Like, in a year, you might be like, a year, it might take you a full year to accomplish something. But within that year, there's going to be all these little accomplishments and milestones that you hit trying to accomplish it. That will make you keep going and will make motivate you and push you forward, man. 
trust me, believe me when I say this, man. It's an easy example to think of is with exercise, man. If you like, let's say by the end of the year, it takes you a year to lose the weight you've been losing, but bro, a couple months in, you're already gonna see a freaking change in your body. You're gonna feel different too just by seeing that change, and that's what I mean. These little milestones that come up. And hold and be proud of yourself in those, man. Be proud, but don't forget the the job's not done. But be proud of that shit, man, because you did that. Real shit. <sighs> and find an outlet, man, because like right now, all this shit was stacking on me and all this and all that. And the way I feel now is so much better, man. Even just from that little little rant I just went through. But look. You really feel like giving up, and I'm talking to myself as like I'm talking to y'all right now. You really feel like giving up right now, man. Really think about that. Think about what you have done. Think about the things you want to do. And really think about you giving up and what that means to all those things. It means that everything you've already done and worked on was for nothing. And you've taken it for granted when you know that that work you put in and that effort, that grind, those hard times were what? Those were for you, man. Those were for you today. And you're the person you are today because of that. And then for the future, man, think about that. You really want to give up now when the future you is depending on the person you are today to do the things you need to do so when... The time comes in the future when you feel like this again, because it probably will come back. Who knows? It probably will, right? That person is depending on you today, man. To not give up. To keep it going. And then when that time comes around in a couple years, however long it takes, man. You're going to think back on this moment and be like, you know what? I'm happy I didn't give up. I'm happy I had those reasons. I'm happy I had that. Believe in myself. I'm happy for all these different things that didn't let me. That didn't let me to give up, right? And it may seem like everything's up against you. And it may seem like everything's impossible. But it's not, man. It's not. It's hard. But you can do it. You know you can do it. You probably have already done things. And if you haven't done anything, man, and you're really like, oh, no, bro, you're thinking too harshly on it. You're thinking, really think about it. You've done shit, man. There's no way you haven't. You know you have. You just sometimes are blinded by the amount of things you haven't done that you forget even the little things you have done. So don't allow that. Be proud of yourself for what you have done. And then keep going. Keep pursuing all this. There's a lot more to be done. And most importantly, there's a lot more to learn and grow from, man. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. <sighs> Take those breaths. Find a way to get it out of your mind, man. Because when it's all in here, it gets all cluttered up and blurry and foggy and all these different things that you're not able to see clearly, man. It really is. And... As I'm letting all this out, man, I'm seeing a little bit more clear, man. Which is kind of funny to say, but it's so true. So first and foremost, find a way to clear that mind up a little bit. Whatever whatever helps you with that. And once you've cleared up a bit, lock in and be like, okay, let me. I need to do this. I need to do this. Let me start with this and let's see how it's going. Once you start that and you start doing that. You will feel even better. Then you'll go to the next thing. And just keep it rolling like that, man. And when you hit a bump, it's okay. Reset. Clear the mind. Get back on it. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the journey, man. But don't give up, man. Because I believe in you how I believe in myself, man. Real shit. I know what you're capable of. You know what you're capable of, most importantly. You may not see that right now, but it's because you have those doubts, you have those things blocking you, but picture yourself without them. 
and then start to believe them and then start to move accordingly and you will see the things you can accomplish and once you start accomplishing these things you will really start to change your whole outlook on everything and that's when things really get beautiful but then the rain comes again I always remind you all of this because it's very important the rain will come again but this time you may have an umbrella or you may even just put the umbrella down and enjoy the freaking shower man or some days you know what you will sit on the curb sit there with your thoughts and just get wet that happens too but, we'll, but then the rain will pass the sun will come back up and you will just have to keep going just try to learn what you can from the rain and let's get all these things done man just don't give up I believe in you Take care.